Welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can code a clear, or um, some people call it a purge command, with Discord.js for your very own Discord bot. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we start with the actual code, I would like to say that um, I have coded a Discord bot. Um, it's a multi-purpose moderation bot that also has some fun community games, and I would really appreciate it if you guys could add it to your Discord servers. Um, we are pretty close to verifying it um, on Discord, and we need your help, so um, if you guys can add it to your servers and upload it on the bot listing sites in the description below, that would be very helpful, and with that, let's go ahead and actually jump right into the code. Alright, so the purge command is actually very simple. What we're going to be doing for this is we're going to be uh, creating an amount variable, then we're going to go ahead and define uh, the permissions that you need, and then we're basically just going to be deleting the amount of messages that we defined previously. Um, one other thing that I would like to mention is that uh, if you do not have 2FA enabled on your um, Discord account, this will not work. They won't be able to delete messages for some reason. So make sure you enable 2FA on your Discord account, um, and then, yeah, that should that should work. Um, otherwise, it will give you the 14-day uh, error. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so the middle of this code, the middle is, like, basically this stuff, the contents of this code. Um, you can implement this into whatever command handler you're using. Um, you don't have to use if command equals whatever. Um, but this stuff is what you want to pay attention to. So I'm going to go ahead and name it purge. And I'm going to go ahead and do if command equals 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 purge. And we can open this up and do uh, a few variables. Um, also, if you haven't already, um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to actually need to make the uh, message array variables as well as the uh, command handler that I have here. Very, very basic. Um, but watch the first video in the series if you'd like to learn how to do that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start. So what we're going to do is we're going to define the amount of messages we would like to delete in the channel. So we can do const amount equals parse and int. Um, and then we can do args uh, zero, just like that. Now we can go ahead and run our permissions. So we can do if, um, let's see, message dot member dot ha uh, permissions dot has. And then we can do manage messages because we're basically deleting messages so if the staff member has that permission then that would be ideal we can do return message dot channel dot send and then we can pass in uh you do not have permissions to execute this command just like that then we can go ahead and close it off um and now uh right here we're gonna go ahead and um basically we're going to say, if you did not specify the amount, um, then we're going to return and send an error message. So we can do if no amount, so exclamation mark amounts, uh, then we can do return message dot channel dot send. And then in here we can do, please specify the amounts of messages you want to delete. Alright, so once you've done that, uh, we can go ahead and do one more if statement. So we can do uh, this, by the way, is going to uh, basically define how many messages your bot is going to be able to delete. I'm not sure what the actual amount Discord allows is, um, but I think a good amount would be 100. You can increase this as much as you would like, as long as you're not going over Discord limits. So you can do if amounts... Um, and then we can do this arrow, and we can do 100. I'm going to go with 100. Um, you can maybe do 200, whatever you want. I'm going to go with 100. And then we can do the two lines, and then amounts, the other arrow, and then 1. Then we can return and send a message, uh, just like this. And then we can say, please select, select a number between, we can, uh, uh, go like that, and then 101, just like that. So we can go ahead and close that off as well. So now we're done with our if statements, we can actually go ahead and delete the message. So what we can do is we can do message.channel.bulk.delete, and then we can do amounts. So we can pass in the amount of messages you're going to say you want to delete, and then we can do a catch error. So we can do catch error, and then in here, oops, I messed that up. Um, and then in here, we can go ahead and run message.channel.send, um, 
And then in here we can do uh, due to discord limitations. I cannot cannot uh, delete messages older than 14 days. Uh, just like that. All right, so one thing to keep in mind with this error uh, message here is that um, if you don't have 2FA enabled on your account, there's a good chance. It actually happened to me with a Discord bot um, that I used, and I, I'm pretty sure you should be good as long as the server you're in doesn't have a 2FA requirement. I'm not really sure, but I know it has something to do with 2FA because um, I coded a bot for a Discord server, um, and it gave me this error message for some reason, and then... I enabled, or well, I switched it to the account that has 2FA, and then it worked fine. So just uh, play around with that. If you get this error message for no reason, um, let me know in the Discord server. All right, so we can do let message equals message dot channel dot send. Then we can do deleted. We can bold this amount, um, amount just like that. Um, we can finish out bolding, and then we can do messages. If you'd like, you can create an embed for this, but if you don't want to create an embed for this, this is what it's going to look like. For me, I'm just going to run a simple embed. So we can do const embed equals new message embed. We can open that up, and then we can do set color. We can run blue, and then we can do set description. We can do white check mark, and then we can do deleted. Um, we can pass in amount here. Amount messages uh just like that and then we can go ahead and bold amount uh oops you can go ahead and bold amount just like that um and then if you do decide to go with an embed you can do message dot channel dot send and then we can open this up and do embeds and then our variable name which is embed uh just like that so because i have an embed i'm going to go ahead and delete this um i recommend using embeds it makes it look a lot better but that's up to you all right, so now we are actually done with the purge command, so we can go ahead and restart our bot and then test it out in our Discord server. Now that we're in our Discord server, we can see the bot is online, so we can run our test command. As you can see, the bot is working perfectly. So now we can do, um, we can spam the channel just like that. Um, and then we can go ahead and actually delete the messages. So we can do purge. Um, let's go with 100 just so that we delete every message in the channel. And then we can do uh, send. So as you can see, it deletes every single message in the channel, and then it sends our embed, um, saying that we deleted 100 messages. Obviously, it didn't actually delete 100 messages because there were not 100 messages in the channel, but if there were 100 messages in the channel, then yes, it would delete all 100 messages. I'll show you guys what actually happens if we do um, purge. We can do purge um, 101. Now, as you can see, it says, please select a number between... 101 same thing will happen if we do purge zero um it will say the uh, messages you want to delete um so you'll get those error messages as well and yeah so let's just go ahead and clear the channel so you can purge that all out and just like that we have coded a purge command using discord.js so if this worked for you please leave a like and subscribe also please add my discord bot to your server we're trying to get it verified that would be helpful um, if it didn't work for you, I have a help server in the description below. Go ahead and join that. There is a community help channel that you can send your code in and the community as well as myself will help you out. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.